Welcome back to Farm and Hammer everyone. As always, before we get started, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, only if you enjoy this kind of content, of course. And if you wanna see more than what's just on these YouTube videos, you can always check out my Instagram. It's always in the description box below. And guys, say goodbye to the fuzzy little kittens. These two have found a new home and they're gonna be gone later this afternoon. And so, anyway, say goodbye, they're gone. And their mother is also going to the vet and she's gonna be she's gonna be spayed so she doesn't have any more kittens so uh, that'll take care of that problem but anyway these two have found a new home now I'm gonna try to show you guys how we feed hay today's gonna look a lot different because uh, the tractor is actually in the shop and normally we do a lot of this with the tractor uh, but um, probably about two weeks ago now I finished cleaning out one of the sheds, I parked it, and then we were supposed to unload some pallets of mineral, and uh, whenever we started the tractor, whenever you put it in gear and put it into forward, it would not go anywhere and it started flashing lights, so uh, not a good deal, something with the transmission. Anyway, we had to, it's not focusing there, we had to pull it all the way to the mechanic and he still hasn't been able to tell us what's wrong with it yet. So uh, we've been feeding hay without a tractor, which is not very fun because normally we will unstack because all of our bales here are in rows and normally we pull them out with the tractor so we can pick them up with the truck. And right now we can't do that. So we have to pick them up sideways with the truck, pull them forward a little bit without trying to rip all the string off and then pick them up the other way and haul them off. So <laughs> uh, it takes a lot longer and you also rip up the bale a little bit doing it. So anyway, so I'm gonna take you guys along. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So first, this is our control switch. Obviously this unload moves the arms down, load moves them up, in, pushes them in, out, pushes them out, which we need them out right now. Anyway, and that's pretty much as easy as it is. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. You don't have to get out of the truck to pick up a bale, which is what I like. And While we're driving out to feed these two bales to the cows, um, by the way, these are going to the fall group of cows. There's about 88 in this one. Um, a lot more soon because we added 40 heifers. Anyway, while we're driving out here, this truck, it's an F-250, and the issue with this truck is I hate it because number one, it still has the stock tires on it. And whenever, well this, bale bed weighs a lot. Whenever you add two bales on this, it's even worse. And whenever you get out in some mud, which right now, luckily, it's not muddy, but, when, but after a big rain in the winter, if you gotta feed hay, you better hope you have a tractor because this thing sinks like a rock and you get stuck really quick. And so we need to put some wider tires on it just so we don't sink as bad, but uh, that's my main complaint with this thing. Um, I have no complaints with the Dewey's bed. Uh, I've been using the Dewey's for 
ever since I started feeding, which has been a while. So uh, I'm used to the controls, don't have to look at them now when I'm using it, which is nice. No complaints about the bed, just the fact that this truck sinks really bad. And if you're like us right now and don't have a tractor to pull you out, better hope you don't accidentally drive into the wrong spot. So. So now I just gotta unload this one close enough to the ground where I can cut the string off. That ought to do. Put it in the park. Grab the knife. It does help to have a sharp knife. Just had this one sharpened. Because it was getting pretty dull and it wouldn't cut through this string very well. So. There you go, it's all ready to unroll. So a lot of people may be wondering why we unroll it, and some people may be saying, hey, you're wasting a lot of hay. Cows and calves are just tromping on it, peeing on it, pooping on it, and wasting half of it. And you would be correct, yes, they do waste a lot of this hay. Um, but the thing is, this is combined fescue hay, so it's not great quality anyway. And second of all, this, this specific hay is hay that we purchased. Uh, Almost all of the hay that we feed has been purchased. We don't do any of our own. We don't have hay equipment. So if we do have some hay to cut, um, we have the neighbors do it or something. So yeah, they waste a lot of this, but if you look at how much nutrients are in one bale of hay, they're supposedly like, well, prices right now, there'd be about 15 bucks worth of fertilizer per five by six bale of hay. So a $30 bale of hay now is only 15 if you're counting how much fertilizer you're spreading on your pastures. So um, that's reason number one, we're getting a lot of nutrients out of it. Uh, reason number two is all that wasted hay, not only will it provide some fertilizer from coming out the cows you're in, but also the wasted hay on the ground. Um, that'll start breaking down and that will eventually become organic matter and that'll help build all of your soils. So um, we try to spread hay in lines across the field and then after we make it all the way across the field we move on to the next field start feeding that one and we got a lot of fields to choose from so uh, that's just kind of the process that we do on feeding hay 
And the last reason is I'm not a big fan of bale rings and sure the cows don't waste as much but if you leave a bale ring sitting in the same spot they're going to tear up that area of the field and that won't grow any grass for a year or two so um, that's kind of a pain and then if you want to prevent that and you start moving the bale rings every day or every other day then that's just extra work trying to move bail rings. So uh, that's just kind of why I don't like bail rings. And I know there's a ton of ways to feed hay. This is just how we do it and how most farmers in our area do it. Yes, we do occasionally still use bail rings, just like with my little group of heifers. I don't want to drive out there every single day just to feed a quarter of a bale. And so for them, we just drop a bale off for, and it lasts them for four days. And we'll come back in four days and feed another bale. But um, for the most part, we do not use bail rings on any group of cows over 20. And lastly, gotta feed a little mineral. Uh, they're out right now, and this is just a little sacrifice area. It used to be a rock pile, so not really hurting the pasture running right here. 